Good morning, guys. So I'm up, it's early, and I'm talking to y'all first. I gained five pounds this week. I have no idea how because I've stayed on track eating, but I'm not doing this just for losing weight purposes. I'm doing it for health reasons. I guess it could be something going on with my body. I don't know. I still haven't started to work out. That's going to happen this week. So, um, I'm fixing my coffee right now. The kind of coffee I'm fixing me is community coffee and chicory. My husband does not like anything but community dark roast. I also like to drink in the morning, but you only can get it at one time of the year. If y'all don't remember, I live in Texas, but I'm from Louisiana and I am a true Louisiana girl. Community coffee, king cake. I drink my, my coffee black and just put a little bit of cinnamon in it. I love sweeteners and stuff, but the more I stay away from it, the better off I am and I don't crave all the other junk. So, I am behind in my Bible. And I am an angry individual. I get angry at everything. So my talk's too long, I'm angry. I don't know if it's because I'm changing my diet. I don't know what's really going on with me. But I am just angry. Angry all the time. And I bite my tongue. I posted a picture of how I went to Whole Foods and ate a vegan burger. And uh, I was real sweet. I posted it to this Cypress foodie and Woodlands foodie. And somebody was like, do you know how bad that is for you? Well, Karen, and I don't really know if her name was Karen, but I'm just going to use that name. Well, Karen, if you knew how bad I was eating before, you would understand that this is probably great for me. <laughs> I was eating ding-dongs and processed meat and chicken nuggets and anything I can get on my hands on that was bad. And guess what I'm eating now? Mostly fruits and vegetables and nuts and beans. I'm doing a whole lot better, Karen. Then this lady tested my patience yesterday. I uh, about had it. I um, have my own little business. Um, I, I sell a product in someone's home. I've done it for 18 years off and on, and I had somebody underneath me, and she wanted her $10.99. I, well, I had to get with my bigger boss, which my boss is great at what he does, and he has a, a lot of knowledge, and he has his own accountant, and see how he wanted to hand out the 1099s. And this woman was really aggressive when she worked underneath me, and when we go in people's homes, we give them a product that I have to pay $25 for every one of them that I give away. And she would just give them out left and right. And she would say, well, you did it. Well, I'm paying for them. And she texts me, cussing at me, telling me it is real blankety blank of me to not respond to her, which I had responded to her. It's just, she, and, and I have till the 31st to get you your 1099. She just wanted to go off on me and keep letting me know. And she thought that if she kept messaging me, she'd get her way. And I messaged her back. I was like, I have till the 31st, <laughs> the 31st. She messaged everybody in my organization. It was like, look at what Christy Sorrell said, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my, geez, please, oh my gosh. But hey, it is what it is. I did it. I told her I had till the 31st to calm down and she was too much and she let everybody know I did it. I guess I got to suffer the consequences, don't I? So I really got to work on my tongue and I really got to work on my patience because it's not good. And I know it's not good. If anybody has any advice for me, I would love it. I've, I've gotten a lot better getting off all that junk food. Like I told y'all last week, the food anxiety is so much better than it was before. So, um, I also told y'all last week about my heartburn and how I really can't I, I get rid of it. And I'm still having some problems. And I'm going to let y'all know this week I broke down and bought some Prilosec. I couldn't handle it anymore. I was not ever going to buy it again because I wanted to... Um, I wanted to quit taking, putting all that bad stuff in my body. Like I told y'all last week, I'm taking Slippery Elm. Aloe vera gels, that's both by now. Um, and I'm taking iron, but that's not for heartburn. That's because I have very low iron. I mean, it's bad too. Well, <clears throat> I got me a probiotic this week by Garden of Life. Uh, I've taken this before when I got the rash underneath my apron. I, I took this before, but I decided to go ahead and start taking a probiotic every day again. And then the lady in the health section of the H-E-B here in Texas, go H-E-B, uh, said that I should take a enzyme. So I started taking an enzyme. 
It is by Garden of Life also, which I love Garden of Life products. I actually have a shake I drink, but I haven't since I started this on January 2nd. That is made by Garden of Life, which I'll show y'all that later. Uh, so, I, get, I, I like I told y'all, I gained five pounds this week. I've really, I've been trying to get my house in order. It's just been a wreck. And um, my daughter's moving out. She lives here with her two children that are seven and five and a half months old. And <clears throat> she is moving out in March. And uh, so I've been trying to get my house in order, kind of weed out things I don't need and give them to her for her to go. And my, I keep, my daughter works at Whole Foods. So um, I keep my grandkids while she works. And she's also in school. She wants to be a registered nurse. This is my youngest daughter. She's 23. And uh, so, right, you can do the math. She got pregnant when she was 15, delivered at 16, which was very detrimental on me and my husband. She skipped swim practice. It's not that we didn't watch her, but you know what? It, it, it was a painful situation to turn into something beautiful because my seven-year-old grandson just lights my heart up. I don't think I've ever loved anybody more than him. I love my other grandkids, but... He will always have a special place in Mimo's heart. Uh, I just love that kid so much. Um, I, I just, I can't tell y'all what he's done for my life and who he's changed me to be such a better person because he really, he really, really has. And where I would have snatched my kids up in a New York minute, boy, I have more patience with him than anything. And I, my daughter gets upset with him. I'm like, Jessica, he's just a little boy. And, you know, let, let's try to understand how he's coming, coming, where he's coming from, where I wouldn't have been that patient with my children. But looking back, I wish I would have been. So she's moving out. And so, and her five and a half month old, which his name is Odom. And I love him. He's so sweet. So cute. He does not let you put him down. He just cries and whines every time you put him down. I don't know if Mimo spoiled him, if Papa spoiled him, but he really, really just cries and whines. So uh, yesterday, my 21-year-old son still lives with me. He's a car salesman up in Spring, Texas. He sells the Chrysler.